I like them to think of it as me building a scaffolding around them so that they start to feel a support that they've never felt before. And depending on how much support they need, it can be full scaffolding, partial scaffolding, or no scaffolding. Well, the way I see psychotherapy is people bring me the jigsaw puzzle of their lives. And often, you know how when you make a jigsaw and the pieces look like they fit, but they actually don't? The, I see my role as helping them take apart the pieces that really don't work and put together a new jigsaw puzzle that actually helps them achieve what they want to achieve in their life in terms of understanding you know, who they are, where they fit into themselves, how they fit into relationships, families, parenting, jobs, just situations that they are unclear of how they, they work as a person. So I kind of see that as my role, is to help them make a jigsaw puzzle that makes them feel happy and understand themselves. Um, my husband's my business partner and my practice partner, and he has a PhD in behaviour. And what we decided to try was he would take the male, I would take the female, and then we would do joint couple sessions to help the couple see you know, each other in a different light. And it's just been extremely successful. We've been doing it probably for the last 16 years now and have just come out with some fantastic results for people in rebuilding their lives. I had to train for, I think it took me 12 years to become a qualified psychotherapist between all my internships and trainings and accreditations and getting licensed in the States. Um, you know, it took a long time to get that um, piece of paper that says, yes, you are qualified to work with people. The difference between coaching and psychotherapy is coaching touches the surface and makes more practical suggestions, whereas therapy actually delves into the root, the, the way I see the difference is therapy delves into the root of the issues that are emotionally based and goes much deeper. But it's quite important that the person that you're working with has professional qualifications if you're going to do therapy because bad therapy can actually do more harm than good and you have to make sure that if somebody is a coach that they're not dabbling in the deeper intimacy of therapy because sometimes it's quite difficult to put that back together as a coach when really you need a therapist to put those pieces back together. So I think the guidelines is inquiring how much training the person's had how much experience they have in what you're looking for and then of course to make sure that you feel it's somebody you can tell in your deepest darkest secrets to.